Alright guys, welcome back for another video. I uh, made quite a few videos today actually to be fair. Uh, I'm, I don't remember the last time I made three videos in one day. I've recorded three at least. I don't know if I'm going to release all of them today. But uh, what I wanted to do is just make a quick tier list for the Hell Demons. Now obviously this is more towards Hell Difficulty where I think some are going to be better than others, so on and so forth. Uh, should be a quick video though. Don't have too much to go through because not every unit is good for raid. So let's just uh, go over it. First off, I am going to start with Red Demon. Now, to save you guys a lot of trouble, to save myself a lot of trouble, I'm not I'm just, I'm not just going to put every like type advantage unit on the tier list because what's the point? You know, I'm not going to do that. So let's start off with Red Demon. And the only units I'm going to put on this tier list are going to be usable ones, right? If they're usable, I'll put them in there. If they're not usable, I won't put them in there just to save me and yourself a bit of trouble. So Hell Red Demon, let's start off. King, I'm gonna actually put him in A tier. Trust me, I uh, trust me when I say this. You put King on your Hell Demon team, on your like Red Demon team. You're gonna clear it so much slower because he has nothing to offer you except his petrify. And like, if you have like good gear with good units, you don't really need to petrify the demon because you'll just DPS him so quick. Nonetheless, if you are struggling and stuff like that, then King will be good to put in there. You can put King in there. Absolutely no problem. I'll just have him in the A tier because his ultimate is AoE, doesn't do much damage, his skill doesn't do much damage, he just slows down the entire raid and for that I'm not too big of a fan of him in uh, in this raid. Same thing goes for Diane. Uh, she actually, S or A, Diane's more useful than King just because she can actually attack seal the demon. A or, no, no, I'll put her in A tier just because two of her, like, two of her three attacks are AoE. That's not going to be too helpful, but of course she does have a stronger ultimate than King, and she can attack seal him. Eh, no, nah, no, nah, I'll keep her in A tier. Melaskila, I wouldn't use her. Blue Demon, I wouldn't use him. Milim, I wouldn't use. I wouldn't use. Slader is SSS. He is very, very nice. Obviously, at the start of every turn, or basically at the start of every new uh, phase of the Demon, the Demon is always going to have zero... Uh, zero um gauge so you will guaranteed crit the demon with slater slater is a fantastic option blue merlin nope this jericho is actually s yes, she's actually pretty damn good for the demon you can get her to basically one shot him on the final phase of her ultimate because of her unique um if you global players don't know what she does she increases allies crit chance each time you perform a crit uh like if if like let's say you use an attack that has multiple attacks in that one attack any of those multiple attacks crit, it will proc her passive. Uh, she has explode, and then she has one other thing. I forgot what it was, but she's uh, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. She's not the best for it, but she's pretty good. Uh, I mean, this Diane, uh, I pro I, I wouldn't recommend. Elaine is uh, SSS. Oh no, but wait, never mind. No, she she's not on global. Never mind. Uh, forget I said that. Uh, Blue Elizabeth is uh, not that great. This uh, Ellie Hawk, I'll put in S. You don't really have a good way to stack up her Amplify, to be completely honest. But uh, she, you know, it can help, you know, cleanse all of the Ignites and the stuff like that that you puts on your units. Also, she has a very strong ultimate. And, you know, if you possibly can stack up her Amplifies, it's, uh, it's going to work well. Galland, I am going to put in SS because Galland is really good. Uh, I tried him myself. He, uh, he does a good job, of course, obviously one of the skills are useless, but if you just build up his ultimate, use his ultimate, three turns he's going to hit the hardest on your team. Gallant is very good for the Red Demon on Hell Difficulty. Blue Gother is useless, Hendrickson is useless, Barn is SSS. I think this Barn is the best unit for this raid, honestly. He does everything. He uh, decreases the Demon's defense related stats. He also removes stances. The Demon always goes into stance. Barn can remove it. Stuff like that. So I do think that barn is very, very good. Uh, Lilia, I mean, you don't have to, but I guess you could. Just for the extra damage from her passive and the fact that she can reduce gauge. I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend, but if you really need a healer or something like that, you can put Lilia in there, I guess. Uh, Fat King, no. This barn, I, I, I'm going to put in SS. Honestly, like, people think he's better than the Nunchuck barn. Sorry, man, but no. Uh, this barn is good, but... He's just not as good as this barn right here. I, um, I guess I guess I'll put him in SSS because he's still he's still uh, he's still really good for the demon, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for the blues unless I'm missing something. Uh, this Arthur's not too bad actually. I'll put him in A. He's not too bad for this demon. Not gonna lie. Uh, blue blah blah blah. Uh, actually, this Jericho, 
I'm gonna put in S just for her just for her passive. Just for her passive, I'm gonna put her in S. She gives 10% attack up to all blue allies. So we'll put her there. And uh that seems to be it. Bellion is garbage. Oh Jenna. Jenna is SSS for this. She is SSS. She uh can remove stances. She does really good damage with her skills and her ultimate is uh very, very powerful. Uh and then what else do we have? What else do we have? Mikasa, I would not recommend her here. Blue Zoldris isn't out yet. Draw is not out. Uh, Easton is actually SS. She... Mm, SS or SSS? I'll put her in SSS because she's the only unit... No, wait. No, this Easton's not even out. I'm so confused. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am uh, very, uh, very confused with uh, who who is and who isn't released because I'm sick of these JP tier lists. Yeah, never mind on uh, Easton. She's not even out yet. Um. Oh, yeah. Arthur. SSS 100% Arthur is SSS in this no doubt about it and I'm pretty sure that is gonna be it that is gonna be it I'm pretty sure let me just take a look yeah no yeah no that seems uh that seems to be it I mean Melascula you could put her in there but she's not gonna do too much for you honestly she really isn't her skills don't do the most damage uh yeah no that's it so I'm happy I'm happy with this I feel like I'm missing someone Oh yeah, the SR Aaron. Where is the SR Aaron? Where are you? There he is. I'll put him in SS. He's really good for this. Very, very good. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, also Jenna is the one that gives you uh, the one extra costume material. So she's going to be in SSS regardless. And uh, that's pretty much it for the Red Hell Demon. Let's move on to the Grey Demon. Alright guys, on to the Grey Demon. No time to waste. Uh, Grey Demon will put this Merlin in... I'll put her in S. She's good, but she's not that good. Her ultimate can be nice. The plus one gauge can be nice, but then again, not not too useful, I would say. I tried her. Uh, I tried her a lot on JP. Sometimes it helped. Sometimes it didn't. I guess you could bring her if you really wanted to, but uh, I think there's better. There's uh, other better units to use. Uh, Green Barn, no. King is SSS. Probably the best unit for the for the uh, the raid. Honest to God, Jericho. I'm gonna put her in A because I tried this on JP. Sure, Jericho can't hit the demon, but you can pretty much one-shot the demon with her ultimate on phase 2, guaranteed if you just use her skills enough. So, I'll put her in A. Even though you basically can't do damage with her until you get her ultimate, her ultimate can just kill the kill the demon right off the bat, so we'll put her there. Escanor is, uh, now it depends. Honestly, if you're doing it with a buddy, like if you're doing it with someone else, I'll put Escanor in S. If you're doing it solo, I'll put Escanor in SSS. So I think we'll compromise and put Escanor in uh, SS. Escanor is good for the demon, uh, especially Hell. You know he can uh, strip the uh, the buff in phase one. The demon can put a defense buff on himself, and when he drops down in phase one, he can put a attack buff on himself. So Escanor can cleanse that, and then in phase two, he has a, a, a HP buff which you can also cleanse with Escanor. So Escanor is pretty good for the demon. Uh, these guys, no, no, no. Valenti SSS very good. Uh, I don't think you can solo the demon on hell without Valenti. She is an absolute must Her ultimate hits him like a truck because he's always gonna have a buff up somehow some way So yeah, we'll put Valenti in SSS Green Helbram SSS uh, you, you guys should know why because he buffs your attack That's pretty much it and he also can uh, cleanse the demons buff with, with his uh, ultimate uh, Where is where is he? Where's Green Gill? I can't see Green Gill. Did he disappear? Alright, we'll, we'll get to Green Gill later on. Uh, who else? What greens? Death Pierce? I'll put in A tier. His unique is good, but it's not that amazing. Only one of his skills will hit the demon. De Death Pierce is alright. If you're struggling to crit or whatever, something like that, then maybe you can put Death Pierce in there. Oh yeah, this Elizabeth SSS for Grey Demon. She's fantastic. Can help you rush your ultimate, which is the only real legit way to uh, beat the Hell Demon. Since you can't do the Gotha rank up into buff into, you know, king attacks for the win, you're going to need Elizabeth to rush your ultimates and stuff like that. So, yep, she she is a SSS. Green Meliodas, no. This Gila, no. I mean, she's not even out. Elaine, no. This Diane, no. Uh, Alright, so up there is done. Let's scroll down a bit. Esther Rosa, no. Zaneri... Mm, she's no help for the actual fight itself, but she does give you the the uh, the uh, the cosmetic buff, the plus one upgrade. So we are gonna put her in S. 
Unlike Jenna, where Jenna is actually very good in the actual team, Zanera is just the subunit, so just for her passive, we'll put her in S. And then uh, all, all down here is just JP units. Uh, Jillian, I'm actually going to put her in uh, A because her passive can help. I think I beat uh, I beat it solo with uh, Jillian in the back, 30% buff to HP. Obviously, unlike Red Demon, where Red Demon you can just beat it so quick, Grey Demon can be a bit tricky, especially in Phase 2. So that's why uh, maybe having a unit who uh, increases your HP is good. Same thing with uh, this Ruin. He uh, decreases the damage you take in uh, raids by 10%, which can help you quite a lot, I would say. And for whatever reason... Oh, there he is. All right, Green Gill, SSS. And honestly, there's really not much else. There is... Oh, nah, he, he's not out yet. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Grey Demon. Yeah, there's not really much uh, to use in the Grey Demon, sadly. I think that's it. Yeah, no, that seems to be it. Unless I'm just double checking if I miss someone. Nope, definitely didn't miss anyone. So yeah, Grey Demon, honestly, there's not too many units you can use, sadly. This is uh, what I would recommend in terms of a tier list for the Grey Demon. Uh, actually, you know, we'll, we'll put Merlin up a spot. Where, just because there's so little units that you can choose from, we'll just put Merlin up a spot. So yeah, there you go. Let's go to Crimson Demon. Alright guys, finally we have the Crimson or Howlix Demon, whatever you want to call it. To be fair, this uh, raid has a lot of units that are fantastic, so uh, Red Demon Meliodas, Escanor, Gotha, all SSS, let's see who else, I don't really need to explain it, you should know why they're all SSS. The same way they are fantastic for Extreme, they'll be fantastic in uh, Hell. Uh, let's move on, let's move on, let's move on, Merlin, no, you can't freeze the boss, Monspeed, no. Uh, actually, to be completely honest, you probably could use Monspeed. I'm not going to lie. Monspeed could be somewhat decent. Just because of his skills, he could be decent. I'm not going to put him in S or SS because I haven't tried him. But from his skills and his ultimate, which is buffed on global, you could definitely uh, definitely um, use Monspeed if you uh, if you had no choice. This barn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in S. He is really good for it. You just have to debuff the demon, which should be incredibly easy if you're using... Uh, no, nah, actually, no, nah, no way. Barn is very powerful if you can debuff the demon. So if you're using Meliodas, you can definitely use Red Barn in there and he'll do a fantastic job. Arthur, SSS. I mean, you could use Gil Thunder. I've used Gil Thunder before. He can, uh, you know, deflect some damage from your units if you are really struggling. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but you certainly can use it. Gila, I'll put in S. Not only is she usable, in the hell demon she also has a good uh, unique for it increases all allies hp related stats by 15 percent when i soloed the Halix demon on jp i did have her on the team so she's good there hellbrum works he definitely works i did uh, the hell demon on jp with people who used hellbrum and he definitely works he's just not the greatest his damage is a bit weak but nonetheless you can use him if you really had to or if you really wanted to i guess benny maru S, S, or S? Mm, I'm gonna put S. All of his skills are useful here. His ultimate is good. He's really good on this raid. No uh, no complaints there. He's not as strong as Barn, but he is very good on this raid. And uh, what else? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Red SR Ellie Hawk. I'm gonna put S, S. She can do very well on this demon as well. Not gonna lie. She can perform well here. Uh, Red Jericho. A for her passive, the unique. This Ellie for the healing, the unique, I would say. Yeah, you can put her there. Uh, who else? Griamore. Hmm. You could. You could use Griamore. I'll put him in A. You definitely could. Uh, Derriere is SSS without a doubt. Actually, pff, I mean... Pff. Uh, so we'll do that for Derriere. She can kill the boss by herself on like she like, you, you can definitely kill the boss by herself it will take a few tries but derriere is just far and ahead better than everyone else on here she she yeah i mean it's derriere dude she will absolutely crush this boss all by herself no issues uh what else red king no use here Esterosa, i kid you not is actually pretty pretty good for this i'll put him in s he actually is pretty good when i soloed the demon the Howlex Demon on Hell difficulty, Red Esterosa was on my team. And if he wasn't, I don't think I would have beaten it. Uh, Melaskila, I'm going to put in S. She's a good unit for it. <clears throat> Galland, I'm going to put in S. He's also a really good unit for it. Uh, the Elaine, who buffs. 
Do I want to put her in SS or A or S? <clears throat> because she has a passive that will increase how much stats you get from a buff. So with if you have Arthur and then you have uh, Elaine in the back, Arthur's buff becomes 50% stronger, which of course helps everyone else. Now I have to put her in SS. Uh, she's like she's the best uh, uh, subunit to use for this demon. So yeah, I'll put her there. And uh, at that point, I think we have ran out. Mono is garbage. Uh, and no one else on here seems to be uh, of any use. Yeah, no, no one else on here seems to be of any use. Oh, oh, wait, how could I forget? How could I forget Levi? Levi, son, yes, Levi is very, very good in this raid. I absolutely killed the raid on extreme with Levi, and I will do the exact same with Hell Difficulty. The only way you'll ever be able to crit the boss, unless this uh, Meliodas right here is the last unit alive, Levi is fantastic, of course, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe this Deanne has some question marks about her, but I've never tried her, nor do I think her skills would be that useful. So yeah, no, that's uh, that's what I've got for the uh, Howlix Demon. So yeah, guys, giving you guys plenty of different units that you could potentially use for these Hell Demons. Of course, use whoever that you have built up. I wouldn't go out of my way to build units for these raids they're not too difficult they're much difficult than uh, they're much harder than extreme but they shouldn't be too bad for you guys especially at this point anyway guys if you enjoyed the uh, the tier lists leave a like on the video wait wait wait, wait. hold up hold up hold up where's lost vein i forgot about lost vein lost vein i'll put in ss he he, he he's okay he, he's not the greatest but he's definitely better than the guys below here but he's not on the level of the units above here lost vein is good i use him myself on uh, uh howlux demon so yeah anyway sorry about that i completely forgot about lost vein thank you guys very much for watching leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in my next one take care